The first time it really manifested itself was at a time when I was doing this film, Peter's Friends. <laughs> so I was having a gloriously happy time and I was in employment and I had money. All my personal life was happy. And so on paper, there was absolutely no reason for me to be suddenly uh, plunged into uh, um, this, this sort of pit of abnormal psychology, this low mood. Good evening, and why don't you get a shovel in your hand and do a decent day's work, you lazy sod? You know, I wasn't drinking excessively then. I wasn't taking any kind of um, uh, psychotropic substance, either prescribed or proscribed, and it, it, came, it came out of the blue. You know, if you're down and you can see a reason why you should be down, then, then, then that brings with, uh, with it a certain clarity. But, but if, there's, if there's no reason, you tend to think, well, why, why on earth am I feeling like this? I don't understand. If left to your own devices, you can often try and stop um, the cycle of ups and downs through um, self-medication. Ingestion of alcohol and narcotics, cocaine in particular. But with me, the depression came before the substance abuse. Right. Everyone thinks of depression as being a very low despondent mood, but there's agitated depression, there's psychomotor agitation where you're endlessly pacing and, uh, and you can't sleep and uh, uh, you're short-tempered. I rented a huge um, warehouse by the River Thames and uh, just stayed in there on my own and uh, didn't um, open any mail or answer any phone calls for months and months and months and just in this, in this pool of rapid cycling despair and... Uh, mania, three full bar optics of vodka um, <laughs> to try to get you um, uh, to sleep when you haven't been uh, to sleep for, for, for three days, just sort of spending time howling at the moon and throwing your furniture in the Thames. Uh, which, which what I did. Really? Which is what I did, yes. Through, through all my electrical equipment in the Thames, a long time ago this was, with the river police going up and down with their megaphones saying, Tony, stop throwing things in the Thames. Did they know who you were? They, they recognised you. Did. They said, there's that Tony Slattery. There's that Tony Slattery off the telly. Yes.